Speaking of messy, Boosie's back in the news. Oh. The uh, rapper went on his Instagram uh, during one of his uh, events and was spotted examining the lady parts of a woman with the magnifying glass and his 18-year-old son was by his side. Now, in a clip that's making the rounds on Twitter that we cannot show you for obvious reasons, the women were spreading their legs open for Boosie and his son so they could take a peek at their business. Um, things don't seem to be changing much. With Boosie. Like, he's always had something to say. And, you know, some people are here for it. Are y'all surprised at this? How do y'all, uh, uh, let's go to UQ. What do you think about this? Is it, is it not a big deal because he's 18 or is it, is, or is it still like a side eye? Who, first of all, I, I'm getting the boosie. Who raised you horse? Who raised you horse? Your horse, okay? <laughs> Who would spread their legs with camera people present and Boosie and his son. That's that on that. Um, I could spend this time and go in on Boosie, but you know what? It would be futile. You know why? Because Boosie is doing what Boosie does. Right. Boosie is a hood booger. Okay. So I'm I at, at this point, I literally have zero expectation of anything remotely intelligent, logical, or sensible coming from Boosie. My issue lies firmly with those members of the Black community who are so hell-bent on writing for Boosie. Boosie is problematic. Boosie is the downfall of the Black community. Boosie is the single-handedly most ignorant Black Negro we have in sports and entertainment and still Y'all find a way to ride for him because he real, he real. Boosie always want to talk about the gays forcing their sexuality on their children. But Boosie, you have done nothing but exemplify a parent forcing sex on their children. That's all you've done from the time you said your son and your nephew got their dick sucked by a grown woman at the age of 12 and 13. Now you're in a room examining a woman's private parts with a magnifying glass and I don't even think I can say out loud what the way he was referencing the woman's private parts to his son. But yet y'all see no problem with this. Um, anything to go against the gays, y'all are right with it. Uh, and, and the black and the black woman. And the black woman. Us, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is what I was going to say. OK, I understand exactly what you're saying, Q, but we can't fault Bootsy anymore for his behavior and especially with his 18 year old son, because the black woman is allowing him to do it. They're supporting him. They are the ones that are sitting up there on a chair or on a couch, allowing the cameras to film them. They are the ones participating in all of his crazy behavior. There was a black woman there to help him get his son off when he was 12 years old. There are black women there right now who are participating in his foolery. How can we blame him if we continue to let him exhibit this behavior and it's coming from the women that he's degrading? I'm going to say this, as much as Boosie don't represent you two as black men, the women, these particular hood rats that open their legs up and let Boosie put a camera or whoever and, and let his son look at their cooch, uh, they don't they don't they don't represent me. They don't represent none of my friends. They don't represent none of the people that I rock with that I would ever even acknowledge. So they, these are fringe people on the outside, the gutter, both of them. These women are right. gutter and then this behavior is gutter. So we ain't claiming those women, just like y'all ain't claiming that man. Okay, are we fair, are we, are we fair, is that fair? Fair and square. Okay, cool. We don't, I don't, I'm Mariah Carey in that. I don't know her. I don't know her. I don't know none of them hoes. All right, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Oh, I'm gonna be on shade with calling them hoes, huh? Y'all hoes. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. 